Somehow I woke up out in Beverly Fucked up, smelling like that bourbon And I had a balloon I'm not sure Yeah, the girls seem polite in the club every night That's how it goes when you Hollywood person What well, one people, Lumini here back in with another episode of the Sun and Save here on my channel. We're starting things off here by looking at the table because as you can see after last episode we shot up into fourth place currently equal on points with Spurs and Chelsea. Um, yeah, we're having an incredibly good season. It's kind of unexpected. It's not the season I thought we were going to be having. Um, I thought we were definitely going to be struggling down the other end of the table but somehow we've managed to pick up a lot of points um so long may it continue i'm not 100 percent certain it will but we'll try our best this episode we start things off with a game against liverpool who currently sit below us then against spurs who also are below us but obviously two very very tough games then we have the second time where derby of the season and then wrapping things up with maybe a simmed game against Fulham I haven't 100% decided yet but we may just sim that one uh, we are going through a little bit of an injury crisis in midfield we are down to Philip Billing returning from injury to kind of be our new driving force forward however we do start this one with a press conference before the Liverpool game so let's get into that quickly Hi everyone, uh, let's get this press conference underway. Your current run of form sees you sat inside the top four and in the Champions League spot. Is European football something you're starting to seriously consider for next season? It's one of those things, you know, things have just clicked well for us recently. Um, we've been on very good runs. We've picked up points against teams that we feel that we need to be beating to ensure our safety. Look, for us, we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. We know that the most important thing still this season is staying in the division. Obviously, we're on a good run of form, but we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves. We're going to keep down to earth and just focus on our first task at hand, and that's avoiding relegation. You're currently faced with a bit of an injury crisis in your midfield. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you're handling that and what you're planning to do? You know, whenever you take this many or you get this many injuries in the season it's always going to add another layer of difficulty to the job that you're trying to do we've got boys that we feel can fill in for those spots obviously depth was a massive thing that i've talked about all summer before the summer last season we talked about the amount of bodies that we need to get in and in midfield there's no different we still have the boys that we utilized a lot and i'm confident in um using them off the bench etc we've seen them but now this is their time to step up and arguably make a play for a starting spot if they can impress us impress me impress in training and in games then there's no reason that they can't earn themselves a starting spot with the january transfer window just around the corner will you be looking to make additions to your squad to help you for the rest of the season yeah you know whenever the window's open we're going to be looking to do some business especially early on right now january is a harder window obviously teams don't want to let their best players go so it takes a little bit more negotiate negotiation sorry um and a little bit more time to get deals done but we will definitely be looking to see if we can add some bodies to this team and keep driving forward and hopefully keep results up thanks guys Right, here we go. Liverpool, obviously, they're currently sitting fourth. They're going for the title this season. Again, Manchester City. It's going to be a very, very difficult game. I'm not expecting at the moment to compete. But we will give it our best effort. Joe Gellhart now in double digits for goals this season. Enforced change, not something we planned on. Still Etienne Green in goal. It's been pretty decent for us again recently. So made over Callum. Oxford Cirk and Gunter, the back five we've come to know. Daniel and Philip Billing, a new midfield partnership behind Ahmed Diallo, Joe Gellhart and Ross Stewart. 
Luca Nine getting his first bench appearance of the season. Let's take a look at the Liverpool lineup. In goal, they've got Callagher, Kufau, Arroyo, Van der Berg, and Robertson at the back. Kirk Jones, Henderson, and Thiago in the midfield with Mohamed Salah, Darwin Nunez, and Luis Diaz up top. Valverde on the bench for them, Asensio, Jota, Van Dijk. So they definitely have rotated. Not to say they're taking us easy because they still have that superstar and front line begins. of theirs. Nelson Semedo. See if we can find it's a good early move from oh, us here. Oh, Ahmad hits the outside of the post. Speaking of Thiago, running out, we don't run that. And now Mohamed Salah's through and he's hit the post at the other end now. Liverpool trying to quickly move this one forward. Here. Darwin Chances Nunez is through. I thought he was offside, but apparently he isn't. And Darwin Nunez opens the scoring. That looks absolutely nothing like Darwin Nunez. How has he got the tattoos, but he hasn't got Darwin Nunez's face? Oh, is it because there was the we'll update, but the speed of my so save is still on the old faces? No I'm pretty sure he was offside he really there. The Neil. Uh, Dan Neil was just back. absolutely fluffed the pass there. It's not even remotely close to where I wanted him to Plenty put that pass. Here. Good now block from Reese Oxford. But then block. Bounce back, and they're going to have a free opportunity. What? They've got a penalty, but I don't even know how. Are you fucking kidding me? He's just fallen over Serkin's Hill. I can't actually believe that. It's saved by Etienne Green, good, because they didn't deserve it in the first place. Now Liverpool well, will come forward again. Reese Oxford gets a foot in on that one. Ross Stewart will pick it up. Their Callum. Has been excellent. They'll be happy with Dan the way Neil. the game's going at the moment. And a bit Go more defending on the mind here, out. I think. Going to go to Semedo. He's got space to run into the box. Rolls it back across. Joe Gellhart gets us back on level terms. Good roll across the box to find Joe Gellhart in space. And in that kind of space, you should be tucking them away. And Joe Gellhart very much does oblige and tucks it in the back of the net. Well, here it is again. It's a good run Marcus from Tomato. So Couldn't get close down by Robertson. Actually quite poor defending because the ball does roll very close what across the defender. But he can't do anything so to redirect it. And we do equalizer. get back on level terms. That's the kind of shielding play. No and way. No. Salah. Oh, good block. Oh, I don't know what was happening there. Cross to Darwin Nunes, but we're going to clear it with Reese Oxford. That will make it, see us make it to half time. Probably a little lucky to only be drawing going into half time, but I think defensively we've been good enough that we probably kind of deserve it. Keep Phil Billing in that space. He does find Jota though. And go back and get blocked. How's it fallen there? Come on, man. That is a scam. That is a scam. You don't deserve that goal, Liverpool. That doesn't... I don't know how that falls there. That doesn't make sense. I couldn't even get Colwell back. He just, like, fell over Mohamed Salah and lost the ball. As you often do. Oh, Colwell, that is so stupid Mike from you, man. You come on and you've go. actually cost us twice now. Go. Oh, three times. Yeah, typical typical big team stuff. This is the same shit that happens every single time I play a big side at the moment. This is just as soon as they make the subs, as soon as they bring on one or two players, the whole game just shifts in their favour. And then we just capitulate and give away opportunity after opportunity so not really too surprised that this is happening so we just accept it I guess Burton's made a good run there he is going to get us one back fortunately I think it's probably going to be too late to do anything it's a very good cross from McCallum actually to be fair to find the head of Burton and luckily Keller has can't hold on to the initial header and it pops straight back to Burton a good interception there from Able to clear the danger. That's the end of the game. Yeah, every time they bring on two or three, even four world beaters, then it's just the whole game shifts. You can feel it as soon as, soon as Valverde came on. I was like, 
this game is going to shift and it just did immediately and unfortunately we'll walk away with a 3-2 loss i think we probably deserve they probably do deserve to win um but i just feel a little bit oh no we have got a legitimate injury crisis going on at this club ross stewart is now also out for three months can we offer Joe Gelhart a new contract actually? I didn't realise his contract was coming up. Like, can you can you be a little bit a little bit more friendly to me here? Okay, well no, we're not gonna currently be able to um, re-sign Joe Gelhart. Hopefully in January maybe if we make a sale we'll be able to re-sign him, but he's being a bit of a dickhead at the moment, <laughs> to be honest. We do drop down to sixth place after that loss. And next up, we don't. it doesn't get any easier because we have to play Spurs. You know it gets bad when, with the amount of injuries you have, when you get a news article written about how many injuries you've got going on right now. You know it gets bad. However, we are at the next game against Spurs. We do have, oh, Josh Brownhill returning. I don't know if he'll be available for selection just yet. And this will be our midfield going into the next game of the episode. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this lineup. This is the starting lineup. Crazy right now. Laurie still in goal. goal. Matty Cash ben Romero, Davis Joe Gomez, Ben Davies, and Serge. Sergio Regulon. Kyoi Berg with Cell, so Troy Parrott with Charlton, and it is Ansu Fati. That is crazy. Sandro Horta. On the bench as well. Our lineup's the same, besides from our midfield and Vertsen coming into the team. McCallum, you cannot be falling over trying to make tackles. That's a poor shot from Troy Parrott in the end. They find the ball into Vertsen. He's just going to take the shot. It's a good shot, to be fair, forcing the save out of Hugo Lloris. See if we can whip this one in. Oh, Lerma was flying in. Oxford wins it. Falls to McCallum, though. Deflected. Is it going to go for a corner? It is. Vertsen's going to do the same thing again. Swing one in with a lot of pace towards McCallum. Pretty poor header from McCallum in the end, to be honest. Oh, that's good play. That's all I have to say about that. I don't need to watch you run all the way to well, Antonio like Conte. He wouldn't you hug you. McCallum, where is exactly McCallum going, there. though? Like, what is that? McCallum's had a couple... He, he was and has been our tough tackler up there in the back that's usually always winning tackles. We've seen him in this game fall over trying to make a challenge, and then he's just dropping off. He's playing Hoiberg on side for no reason. There is no reason for him to be dropping back there. If he stays in line with Reese Oxford, we're probably fine. Ah, oh, Philip, you've got to be able to put that through. Oh my God, Tomato. I literally can't deal with the fact that you keep doing that at the moment. And now he's fallen over trying to make a tackle. And now Richardson's goes to them behind. It's got second goal. I hate this game right now. I hate it. I hate it. We are playing like shit. And I don't know why. We're literally struggling to make two-yard passes, and I can't understand why, because usually we're spraying the ball 30 fucking yards across the field. As you can tell, very frustrated. Billings just have to hit this. That's a terrible shot from Billings as well. Technique is awful. Yeah, we've been shit, to be honest, so we actually deserve to be behind. Space in midfield. Not midfield. Oh, Diallo! No! Come on! Spurs are fuck, sat very deep as well. Strike on with Gelhart. It's another save by Hugo Lloris. Not finding the avenue right now to take advantage of these opportunities. If we can whip this one in towards Philip Billing and can. It's a good header from Philip Billing to get us a goal. 2 1 now. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. 
It is what it is. We lose 3 1. I hate when they do that from corners because you can't get anywhere near them. So I was I was already pretty certain when I saw that <laughs> that they were about to score. I'm gonna send this long because there's not really anything else for us to do. Should be the end of the game anyway. I don't know, apparently the referee's letting it continue until we attack, of course. Another loss back to back. I mean the two games that we probably should be losing, so I'm not really too surprised, but I actually think they kind of that one for sure. The Liverpool game, fair enough. I put my hands up and said we deserve to lose the Liverpool game. That game, I definitely don't think we deserve to lose. If we did deserve to lose, it wasn't by 3-1. Unfortunately, though, we do have to go into the next time where Derby in bad form. So we'll see how this goes. Time wear time. Newcastle currently sit in 13th on 19 points. We are still in 6th on 35 we do have a press conference to do. Um, I think I I could I should have kind of known that this one was going to be a press conference. I don't often do two press conferences in one episode. So now I don't know. I think what we'll do is we'll probably skip this press conference because I think we did a press conference for the one before. I think we'll leave things how they are. Oh, we can bring Branhill along to the game with us. If we could get him on the pitch, it Two would be Brown helpful. Football but... clubs located just 12 miles apart. It is the North East Derby, and the sparks tend to fly when Newcastle and Sunderland find themselves on the pitch together. Stay with us for every kick of the ball right here on EA TV. Probably won't make much difference, but I'm sure you guys will know a bit about who they played against us in the first game. Hopefully we can play a bit better from the last two. Nick Pope in goal, Trippier, Alistondo, Lascelles and Rekic at the back, Guimaraes, Longstaff and Hayden in the midfield, Bulai Dia, Ishak and Elliot Anderson in the front three. Quinta Mata, Fashnak on the bench, Botman on the bench as well. So a bit of rotation for them. Obviously our lineup. Similar to the last game, Dan Neil coming in, um, Josh Brownhill finding the bench. I think Boulardia did play against us last game, or well, last time we played them, sorry. That's a very good start from us. <laughs> I mean, that couldn't have been a better start for us, to be fair. We win the ball off of Boulardia, it's a sweeping attack forward, and within the first two minutes of the game... Sunderland, well, away goal. to Newcastle, have got a lead. Amadiello, he has, his finishing in the past two has been very poor. So it's nice to show that he can still finish goals. Eight goals this season for Amadiello now. Two minutes in, and we have a goal against Newcastle. Not, some, not, a, not something I expected to happen. If I'm honest, Let's see if we can find Vertson on the run. He's got a lot of pace and he is through. Oh, he brings it down well, but can't get a shot away that's going to really test Nick Pope. Going to go to Vertson. Oh, Diallo was making the run. Vertson's going to pick up on the end of this. Oh, couldn't get the shot off. It was good dribbling, actually. Oh, go back to. Into oh, really it's big block. deflection. Now we need to guard against counter attack. That is Lerma here. wiping somebody out, but apparently it's a legal wipeout. We do have the opportunities here to Nelson play down Sabina. the wing against. Good roll across. What a ball! Two nil. That was an amazing ball out wide, and it's a, it's a great ball back across the box. Joe Gelhart getting on the end of it from Nelson Semedo's pass well, across. We have Put a 2 0 lead right at St. James's Park in the Derby. And the is you have he to say the cells probably needs to be doing a bit better there. Jefferson ball inside. That's a wipeout again. Another bad tackle from the Newcastle boys. Alexander Ishak obviously feeling frustrated with his lack of service so far. And wipes out Jefferson Lerma. Lerma wins a header, but it will get headed back out. Anderson going to pick it up now. 
into Hayden. That is going to be half time at St. James's. And to be fair, we have absolutely dominated that first half of football. So if we can continue to do the same in the second half, then, you know, it's going to be a very, very good day for us in the derby after some very poor days for us in recent times. I thought he was going to swing it in, but actually Ishak didn't go into the box. Really Anderson's going to take a strike. It's good well, save from Etty and Green. The first bit of threat, really, that we've seen well, this from this Newcastle the side. They're going to make a sub here. Gunter does manage to accelerate onto the end of it. Going to try and play Vertson through here up against Ella Stunda. It's a good touchdown from him. He will sprint into the box. Fourth opportunity up against Nick Pope, and he does take advantage of this one. Vertson gives us a 3-0 lead. And could potentially wrap the game up for us. The pace of Vertsen in behind again. It's what we thought we would be able to exploit. And we have exploited it. That's why we bought Vertsen for that pace in behind. A bit of play here. Find Samedo. We are going to have to take Samedo off in a minute because he's absolutely exhausted. Tomato so does get a late chance here though to get through on goal and roll it across. Vertsen, Vertsen's blocked off. <laughs> what just happened? Vertsen got blocked off by Nick Pope. Pack. Jefferson Lerma is going to be there to intercept this one. Last two minutes and of the game. Referee's going to give it a mercy and call it the end of the game. But that does mean in our first season in the Prem, in our first two time wears, we take six points. We beat Newcastle both times. That is absolutely huge for a Sunderland side that hasn't been in the Prem and hasn't played against Newcastle regularly for a long time. Two time wears, two wins, and a great performance from us following some really poor ones. The game is recommending that Christian Gunter gets the inform or Joe Gelhart. But like I said, I think for his performance at the back, it was a pleasure to see him absolutely pocket Alexander Ishak. I'm going to go ahead and give it to Reese Oxford. Absolutely incredible. 21 tackles. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> That's the whole team. Four tackles, 50% rate of winning those tackles. Absolutely amazing performance. You can see here, basically won all of his jewels, aerial jewels and everything. Absolute rock at the back. Reese, congratulations on your inform. Dominant victory in the time where for us. We do stay in sixth place on 38 points. We do have another game. I think, though, I'm going to sim the last game against Fulham because I think we've probably put ourselves under enough stress for one episode. Last game of the episode against Fulham. Like I said, we are going to quick sim this one. We're not really too worried about what the result is in this. It is going to be a 2 2 draw. Reese Oxford actually getting himself a goal. Philip Billing scoring our first one. Denier getting their equaliser. Reek Oxford scores in the 81st and Vinicius equalises in the 82nd. So we do take a point from the last game of the episode. But that is where this episode will end. However, next episode will be the January transfer window episode. So what I want from you guys is I want some transfer suggestions. Some of you guys have already put in potential transfers for the future, but I want for now. We don't have a lot of money to work with, so if you can kind of keep them around like an area of where we're either signing young players or experienced players, something like that. If you could just keep it around there, then we will definitely take a look and see if we can sign some of the guys that you come up with. So if you could leave a comment down below of some people that you think we should sign, I would definitely take a look into those. We're not going to worry about all of this now. We know we can't call up any of the youth lads yet. I don't believe that we want to. No, they're not quite there yet. So we'll leave that as it is. And that is going to be the end of the episode. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified about when the next episode is available to you. And I hope to see you in it. Peace. Uh, I'm saying